Hello friends, today I will discuss about complete operation of 33 KB uh, circuit breaker. Before going through this video, you are requested to please go through my channel and do subscribe my channel and also press bell button for notification for videos to be uploaded in future. Here the clo closing uh, circuit diagram for the 33 KB BCB type circuit breaker has been shown in this diagram. Here there are two terminal for 220 volt DC supply to the closing operation and also for TC trip circuit one coil. Here terminal number 23 and 24 has been allotted for DC one that is for closing as well as for TC one that is trip coil one. Here there are one MCB of uh, double pole type and 10 ampere reading. This is uh, given in between in, in the closing path and to the source end of the DC positive. Now uh, there are three uh, indication lamp red, green and blue. Here red is the indication for circuit breaker on condition. and green is the indication for circuit breaker off condition and blue is the indication for circuit breaker spring charge condition 43 lr is the contact of uh, local remote selector switch and 9 cs is the uh, closing control switch local control switch located at circuit breaker end now and there are two interlocking contact this must be in sorted condition if there no is no interlock has been taken cc is the closing coil of the circuit breaker 94 is the anti pumping relay of the circuit breaker located at circuit breaker end 94 1 is the auxiliary nc contact of the this anti pumping relay and 94 by 2 is the auxiliary NO contact of the anti pumping relay 52A is the auxiliary NO contact of circuit breaker and 52B is the auxiliary NC contact of circuit breaker B1 is the spring charge contact uh, if spring is in charge position then this must be in NC position or in make position now if the local remote selector switch remain in local position and if we give the closing pulse from this control switch then this DC positive which will come uh, to, through the local remote selector switch contact to the TNC switch to the auxiliary contact of 94 by 1 to the auxiliary contact of 52B and to the spring charge auxiliary contact to the closing coil as soon as the closing coil energize the circuit breaker will be on and this auxiliary contact will be in NC position as the auxiliary contact will be NC position then this red light will glow and so the breaker is in on condition now if you give another pulse from this close closing control switch then this will not go to the closing coil of the breaker further it will go to the 94 that is anti pumping relay via uh, auxiliary contact of the circuit breaker and as soon as this um, coil energize this contact will be in nc position and it will remain in in uh, energize um, as uh, uh, till the breaker in um, close position breaker also uh, breaker control switch in close position that is this anti pumping relay um, uh, prevent uh, another pulse to the closing coil of the circuit breaker this is the complete closing operation of the circuit breaker local closing operation of the circuit breaker for remote closing operation this uh, there are contact of local remote that is should be in remote position that is the contact has been taken to and b and from uh, if we give the control pulse from the remote uh, control and relay panel this pulse will uh, coming from the uh, terminal 4 and to the uh, to the k2 
and via this interlocking shorting position to the closing coil this is the complete closing operation uh, of the circuit breaker now for tripping operation of circuit breaker has been shown in this diagram there are two tip coil one is tc1 and another is tc2 for tc1 the positive is uh, dc supply is common with the closing um, coil of the circuit breaker that is uh, j1 and j2 for tc2 that is for trip coil 2 uh, here for uh, another dc is coming uh, from the control and relay panel and connected to the dc positive is connected to the terminal number 37 and terminal number 38 is connected to the dc negative there is another 10 ampere double pole type mcb and this mcb must be on condition to connect the dc to the trip coil of the circuit breaker now for uh, uh, closing uh, tripping of the uh, circuit breaker to tc1 uh, the local remote selector switch must be in, in local position and uh, if we give the uh, tripping pulse from the local control switch of the circuit breaker then this pulse will come um, uh, to the tripping coil uh, tc1 that is tripping coil 1 of the circuit breaker via this auxiliary contact of the circuit breaker as soon as the trip coil energizes the breaker will be in off condition for remote tripping uh, this is the path and this local remote selector switch must be in remote position and for protection uh, tripping this is the path and uh, if 86 operated during um, master trip uh, during fault condition the dc positive come um, from the control and relay panel via 86 contact or master trip relay contact uh, to the uh, this path uh, by auxiliary contact of the circuit breaker to the TC1. Similarly, uh, for uh, TC2, that in, that is for trip coil 2, uh, the local operation for local operation, this local remote selector switch must be in local position. And if we give the uh, if we give the tripping pulse uh, to the uh, trip coil 2 then this uh, trip coil will energize and breaker will be tripped for remote operation and this is the terminal uh, connected uh, from the uh, to the plinth uh, um, number 18 and uh, if we give the rem rem uh, tripping pulse from the control and uh, relay panel from the remote e end um, this pulse will coming through this terminal and to the trip coil 2 of the circuit breaker for protection trip to dc2 this is the plinth for uh, for protection trip to the trip coil through the trip coil 2 now this trip coil must be supervised thoroughly that is before uh, closing of the circuit breaker and after closing of the circuit breaker for protection trip and uh, for uh, pre close supervision that is the before the uh, before the tripping of the uh, supervision or before the uh, closing of the circuit breaker for before the closing of the circuit breaker this is the terminal uh, at which the pre close supervision uh, con um, uh, cable is been connected through the via NC contact of the circuit breaker for post close of the uh, post close supervision of the trip coil TC1 this is the terminal at which the cable is connected for post close supervision uh, via auxiliary NO contact of the circuit breaker similarly for pre close supervision through TC2 this is the terminal uh, via, through via a auxiliary NC contact of the circuit breaker similarly for post close uh, through trip coil uh, 2 supervision this is the terminal for um, post close uh, supervision um, this trip coil must be continuously supervised so that uh, any trip coil burnt out or any fault occur for trip coil 
indication will be given at the control and relay panel uh, that is strip circuit is faulty this is the complete operation of the circuit breaker closing as well as tripping of the circuit breaker of the vcb type 33 kb circuit breaker if you uh, really like my videos then do subscribe